Hi! <laughs> I thought I would make this quick video. Um, well, it may not be a short one. It may be a kind of a long one because this is kind of a lengthy article that I'm going to talk about. But anyway, I um, got this on the art newspaper. Uh, they have an app. They also have a website and everything like that. But I read a lot of news about the art world on their platform. And um, so I wanted to share this article which is all about um, the immersive technology uh, global experience I'm sure a lot of people have heard of sphere which is in Las Vegas this big globe thing you two played at their opening but they do all kinds of immersive visual experiences and a lot of uh, digital artists I happen to be one I started doing digital art in 2015 and I've been uh, doing that ever since was eight years now. Um, I really think digital is uh, a great new medium for visual artists. Uh, so that's what I've been doing. Um, and let's see what this article says about immersive digital art. It's really, it really is quite a phenomenon. Um, they're talking about culture spaces, which is uh, one of the companies that does it besides Sphere. There's also uh, Cosm and let's see, what is it? Um, Outernet Global is another one, but there are a lot of them that are beginning to do this and they're starting to collaborate with museums and show um, immersive art experiences. Some of you have probably heard of the Van Gogh digital immersive experience, which has been making the rounds in different museums. That's one. Um, the, there is a uh, museum, I think it was in, um, I think it's in Paris, that uh, focused on Marc Chagall's paintings and stuff. So this has been going on for um, a little while, and there are all kinds of new venues opening up with these immersive uh, visual experiences, showing digital artists. I really think that this is going to be the technology of our era for um, getting the getting people connected with visual arts through these immersive experiences because it's a lot more fun than just going to a museum and looking at paintings hanging on a wall you know <laughs> they're a lot more fun so um, and this is a and there are new business models emerging about this a lot of companies are starting to do this so they found a way to make money um, the London Theater Company is looking into this. The Tate Museum is another one of these. Um, and um, one of the uh, um, <clears throat> culture spaces, specifically the uh, company that does that, uh, describes their venues as a network because they have eight venues around the world in France, New York, Seoul, and Jeju, and Korea, Amsterdam, and Dortmund, with a ninth coming this year in Hamburg. <clears throat> so they're, they're making these venues all a global phenomenon. And some of these artists are beginning to show there, uh, as well as uh, different uh, museums. Uh, I went to the... Um, the one for Van Gogh at the Dolly Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida. Um, so a lot of museums are starting to do that. There's an interesting quote here that says, there can be no better way to bring our songline stories alive than through this awe-inspiring multi-sensory display of connection. This is the 21st century and younger demographics inhabit the digital domain. If we want to expose them to art and culture, we need to meet them there. What a great quote. And it's so true. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> great article in the art newspaper. So check it out. It's called Tipping Point, How New Immersive Institutions Are Changing the Art World. And if you want to see what I'm doing in terms of digital art, just go and check out my website, yourartdude.com. You can, uh, I have an online store connected to that. Also, online courses. I just published a course on Adobe Fresco, which is all about digital painting. So if you want to take that course and uh, start making art with me, uh, it ha uh, you can get coaching 
th connected to that where we do Zoom calls and I can walk you through some of these processes and just have fun as a community. If you want to be a part of my community, uh, you can also connect with me on patreon.com slash yourartdude and join my community there. There's an exclusive chat where we can all talk and cha exchange ideas. Um, so, yeah, have fun and enjoy your day. Thanks for joining me.